Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a Polaroid effect in GIMP. So we will create a Polaroid effect like this and uh, this was the original image and this is the image after I've applied the Polaroid effect on top of it. And um, we will make use of a plugin called GMIC for creating our Polaroid effect. So if you have not already downloaded and installed the GMIC plugin, go to Google and type GMIC and you will find this website called GMIC.eu from where you can download and install this plugin. And uh, after you have successfully installed the plugin, you can find the plugin right here inside the filters menu. So if I just click on filters below, as you can see, there is the GMIC QD plugin available. Now let's get started with the tutorial and this is my original image present right here. And the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to crop this image a little bit because this image is just too wide for my taste. And so for that purpose, let me just go to tools. Let me just go to selection tools and let me just select rectangle select. And now let me just carve out a rectangle selection from this image like this. Perfect. Now go to image and select crop to selection and then go to select and click on none. Now to create a Polaroid effect, go to filters and select the GMIC QD plugin. And um, previously we have made use of this plugin to create the basket view effect. And the procedure is pretty much the same. We just need to select a couple of different options. So this is the GMIC QD plugin and uh, inside the search bar search polaroid and as you can see the polaroid option is available inside the frames menu so select polaroid and on the right hand side you will find all the settings which are related to polaroid appear now as you can see there are a couple of settings frame size bottom size x shadow y shadow smoothness curvature angle Vignette strength, Vignette minimum radius. So you can try all these options and see what they do. Um, the angle option currently which is set to 0 degrees. So if I just quickly change this to 20 degrees, my Polaroid would tilt at a 20 degree angle as you can see right here. And uh, if I want, I can um, increase the frame size from 10 to somewhere around 20. And uh, I also want to uh, decrease the bottom size from 20 to 15 like this. And uh, let's just let's just keep the angle at zero degrees only. I don't want a tilt to appear in my Polaroid. And um, let me just click on apply because I don't want to make any other changes. And it might take a couple of seconds for the for the effect to take place now simply click on ok so as you can see guys this is how you can create a polaroid effect in gimp you can even do further customizations so let's say let me just select the text tool from the toolbox and let me just let me just write some text right here below so let me just change the font color to black and uh, let me just write the text Polaroid. Let me just also change the font to, to Forte. And let me just increase the font size from 30 to let's say 90. Let's increase it further to somewhere around 120. Perfect. So that's it guys. This is how you can create a Polaroid effect in GIMP. Do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.